and we've seen examples where we can take water out of things, what about adding the water back? So, for instance, our copper sulfate here, these white, this white powder that we now have, if I add some water back to this, there's some water, add it back, it goes blue again. And this is, we'd say that the, the copper sulfate has been rehydrated and it's reformed the blue colour that we see due to the interaction of the copper ions with the water. While many things can be rehydrated, of course, we use this stuff all the time. This is instant coffee. This is dehydrated coffee. We put it into our um, cup, add some water, rehydrate it, and we get our co uh, coffee back. Now, can everything be rehydrated? Okay, well, let's see what uh, happens in the Batman film. We just have the lights down again. So now the penguin has smuggled the dehydrated pirates back into the bat cave and he's going to add some water to them. So let's see what happens. Over there, the drinking water dispenser is clearly marked. Thank you very much, sir. Here's up. Help yourself, Commodore. Slate your thirst. You'll have worse than a parched sensation when we're through with you. Now notice there's something going on here. He's accidentally switched the drinking water to heavy water. That's something we'll come back to later. But he hasn't noticed. Coming back, man. I'm coming at once. Holy hallucination! I wish it were, Robin, but it's not. It's five dehydrated pirates rehydrated. So there we are, it's five dehydrated pirates rehydrated. Well, would that happen? Well, of course it wouldn't, OK? 